Hey homies, what's up? Ryan Wynn here with another episode of Late Night Inks. And before I get to that, tonight we are going to be doing Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards himself. The uh, leader, I guess, of the Fantastic Four. I don't know if he's necessarily the leader, but he's the bossiest. So we'll give him that. Uh, we are going to be using our trusty Zebra Zensations Blue Barrel. This is the barrel. It is blue. You can get them for a couple bucks over on Amazon. Uh, I will provide a link below as well as a uh, link for you to print up your own version of this and ink along with us. So if you saw the Alterna stream earlier tonight, we were live while Peter was bagging and boarding bags and boards. The sentence was a little redundant, but uh, so anyways, during the stream, I drew up this little corner box uh, for Gods and Gears. We got Jimmy and Eli. Speaking of Gods and Gears, issue one is sold out at Alterna. I got issues I'm loading up in the shop tomorrow, probably today for most of you watching. And uh, we're going to have to raise the price. Those are collector's items now. So, under two minutes. Usually it takes me two minutes to get us started, but we are getting started. We've already warmed up. Hopefully you have too. Now, the rule when inking blue line is I do the eyes first. Now, thing, we have the light source coming this way. Mr. Fantastic, we got it coming this way. And then it's going to switch back and forth as we go. Kind of keep our characters framed and our focus centered. So we're going to do his little highlights and then his pupil. Now the reason we're doing these first and specifically first in blue line is because if we wait till the end to do these little details that are very important, uh, they may disappear on you because as you add more black to the blue line and the white area, the blue gets harder to see. Like you can see here, you can barely see any of the blue where it's very, you can very clearly see all the details on, on Reed here. So that was a lesson I learned a long time ago and I like to stick to that. So I usually tend to do the eyes first because they are the most important to me. And you want to make sure they're nice and nice and even. Those are looking good. I'm really happy with those. So yeah, thank you all for joining and watching these. Uh, I didn't think people would like the Fantastic Four piece that much, and then I shared it on Twitter, and people really liked it. So I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll try a video of it. I don't know if anyone besides me and a couple of people will like it. And then so far, last night's video was my most successful video yet, so the most audience retention, which is really cool. All right, we've got our even Steven eyes going on there. Reads a little older, so we can do a couple little little wrinkles there. I don't know if you really want to call them wrinkles. Some folds in his skin, I don't know, they're wrinkles. So we're going to go nice and thin on the nose there, and then here we're going to add two lines, and then as we go under the shadow, we're going to make it three lines. And then on this side, where the tip of the nose, nose is, excuse me, we just do one. Let's see, some moves I do like that, I did it, it was uh, one move, but you bend the nib around. And we'll do something similar here, where we go heavier on there, and then whoop, light it like that. And the same thing there, like making a little J shape or reverse J shape. And then we will add a couple lines here to really give some dimension to that nose. So it's really coming out at us. Now, as a kid growing up reading this book, uh, I went through a lot of phases of who my, my favorite character was. Sometimes it was who was the most fun to read. Sometimes, uh, not a read joke here. Uh, sometimes it was who's the, drawn the best, who looks the best by that artist. Uh, sometimes it was who do you identify with. And it's funny, I always, as as a young kid, I wanted to be Reed Richards. 
And then I realized I was the Human Torch. Which is alright. You know, it's a kind of a dumb, jokey person that liked to, uh, liked to have fun. I wasn't as smart or as good at the science as I wanted to be. But that's, uh, that's, that's how it goes sometimes. So who was, who's your favorite Fantastic Four character? And uh, who did you, who do you think you're the most like, and is that person who you want to be the most like? Because some people might be the most like Ben Grimm, but they don't want to be like Ben Grimm. And uh, another question, did anyone like the movies that they did? The Josh Trank one, I think, could have been interesting if they didn't have so many uh, cooks in the kitchen and changing so many things on him. And then I actually thought there was sort of a, a fun 60s vibe to the Jessica Alba commish episodes, or movies. And yeah, I, f I forget that guy's name, but I just call him the commish, even though I never watched the commish. All right, so here we're gonna do some of the rendering. <clears throat> Excuse me. Usually my rule is don't do any of the rendering until we have all the contours done, so. You know what? We're gonna write ourselves and get these contours done first, and then we'll go back in to finish some of those details. All right, this brush marker has a really good flow going right now. I can get a nice thin line and I can bear down just like that, and then bear down for these contour lines. So if you are inking along, let me know. I'd love to see your progress, and I definitely want to see when it's done. I'd like to know what tools you're working with, and we, will, uh, we can share that in an upcoming video. Corey King is a dude that uh, is a pretty good inker. Uh, he's very humble, and he's always saying he's not that good, but you can find him over on Twitter. He has done the Monkey King ink along. It was a video we did a while back. You can find that. That's pretty fun. So I want to get his, uh, I'm going to be getting his files and sharing some of his work soon. All right, let's get in and do this hair. Some swooping lines for the hair like that. I don't tend to go very realistic with hair, but I treat the patterns and the light realistic with the hair. All right, I'm going to take a swig of water because you know how it goes. Let's see. <clears throat> Once the inking gets to talking, mouth dries up. Let's see how we're doing on time. We are doing really good on time. I think this is going to go much quicker than the Ben Grimm one. So now instead of this being an actual line that divides the hair, this is still part of his head. It's foreshadowing. It's in front of where the hairline is. So you can make that nice and clean. And then up here we'll break it a little bit. Because that we can there we can actually see where the hairline is meeting. And when I was working at Top Cow, uh, Mark Silvestri made sure to teach us how to do that because he didn't like to see a real hard line. Uh, I don't know why I said that like a question, a hard line. He doesn't like to see a real hard line around the forehead. It makes it look like a wig. All right, there we go. Now we've got this curl here, so we're gonna go heavy to light. Then we're gonna go, I got a little fuzz on my brush. All right, then we're gonna go above that and we're gonna go light to heavy and then swoop up. And we got that little curl. And then we'll do a similar one like that that meets there. And here we'll go thin there. And we'll do one of those. You can make it look like that. Now you got to remember on Reed, uh, he has white sideburns, or not sideburns, but kind of side the. Hmm, I don't know what you call that. I bet there's a term for that where it's gray part way. Um, I forgot these little shadows. Don't forget those. You can. Do two little round shapes, and there you go. And a little shadow like that helps to draw attention to the eyes. So anyways, back to the hair. 
So we're going to do a couple alternating lines here in the white part of his hair. And then we'll go up and create a couple shapes like this. Fill those in. And then we're going to come around here and keep keep going across the hairline and heavy up some of these these lines. And do a couple thin ones and underneath this hair curl Feel free to go heavy and then go light as you pull away from it. And then over on this side, we're going to come back here and we're going to do a round shape this way and a thin one there, maybe a little one there. And that'll create this uh, bounce of light that we're going to have on his hair. Heavy this up, or as I like to say, we're going to beef that up. This line came down too far. I'm going to probably end up whiting that out. So now we can do here where his hair sort of tucks in, and all the parts are coming out of. Now sometimes you just got to follow the hair pattern, or copy somebody's hair pattern, or do what I'm doing here. And it may not make sense at first, but then you'll start to see it. Now I better not mess up. Don't mess up. A little heavier on the undersides there. And we're going to do a similar thing here with some round shapes that push against the light. And remember, about halfway... He's got it, his hair turns white. So let's do another round shape here. <clears throat> then we'll push against that on this side. And then we'll do the same thing here. We're going to do a round shape there, a round shape there, and go ahead and take it all the way to the top outline for his hair. We're not going to do a rim light at all. Same thing here. Do a round line there. Go ahead and fill it in while we're here. Just remember you've gone a little heavier there, so don't drag your hand across it. It's one of the things you want to be mindful of when you're inking. We'll do a round shape there. Now some of this may be too harsh of a direct black to white, so we can go in and do some little bleeds. This is where the hair doesn't look realistic, but I like the sort of, <clears throat> excuse me, the glossy, plasticky look that you can get doing comic book hair. And then we're going to get, 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 couldn't talk there, get, bleh, still can't. Then we're going to do some more crisscrossing, kind of overlapping lines there in the white area. Okay, all we have left now is, let's define his forehead a little. We can do a couple lines there, a couple lines there. The light's coming this way. So we'll do a couple folds where that forehead dips down before the brow pops out. And then on this side, we're going to do some rendering to help define the shape and the lighting. Now, just like Ben Grimm has this hard cheekbone shape up here, Reed has his cheekbones here. And since this is the heavier side, start light. And heavy these bad boys up as they go back. And then down here, we have some of these to express how his jaw comes out. Oh, we are almost done. I'm going to add a few lines under there. Not too many. And then we have, we're going to go this direction. And then when we get right under the middle of his lip, we're going to do some zigzags there. And then we'll come out of it with single lines. And that'll define his lip and his jaw there for us. And there we have our classic uh, Marvel style Mr. Fantastic part of our fantastic four corner box 
I think next week we're going to do Jimmy and Eli in one night. I'm going to fix these up and we're going to do those uh, one night a week. We'll do a Gods and Gears project. And next week, uh, sometime in the next week, issue four comes out. So I want to do something to celebrate that. So there we go. Mr. Fantastic. Tomorrow night we will do Susan Richards Storm. And we may break out a real brush, a sable brush to do her hair because we want that to be really pretty and have a nice flow to it. So, tune in for that. Hopefully you are inking along. Uh, keep me posted on your progress over on Twitter, at Ryan Wynn. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you tell a friend. And until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and take it easy. And if you haven't already, head over to AlternaAccess.com and check out the book I wrote, Gods and Gears, with art by Dean Kotz and letters by Wes Loker. Issue 4 is out soon. Stupid cat. Newsprint, it's a hell of a drug.